What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Let's jump right on in and start talking about this post hole digger. Now, the one that we have here is going to be the Frontier PHD 200. There are going to be multiple different sizes of these post hole diggers, but we are working on one that's going to work on your compact and subcompact utility tractors. This is going to be the second smallest unit that you could put on one of these tractors. You could also do a PHD 100, which is going to be just a little bit lighter, a little less RPMs whenever we're going into the ground. But the PHD 200 is going to be a good option for anything from your one series all the way up to your four series tractors some of the specs on this phd 200 let's go ahead and knock those out get those out of the way that this is going to be compatible with a category one hookup so whenever you are looking to hook this up to your three point you do need a category one so it's going to hook into your two lower three point arms and then you're actually going to have to remove your top link arm for the base of this machine to go in and attach right here now once we have that hooked up of course we are going to have a drive shaft that goes from the top up to to the gearbox all the way down to our PTO and it is going to run off the PTO of your machine. So this is going to be a 540 PTO implement. So you are going to run this with the machine kicked up into 540. And once you have that kicked up into 540 on the machine, you are going to get 180 RPMs out of your auger on the actual post hole digger. So you're going to have a gear ratio of three to one on that, three at the tractor, one to the auger, which is going to make it 180 RPMs. Now, what that means is that is just going to tell you how fast that auger is spinning. That's also going to help determine how much spin you're going to get whenever you're going down into the hole, how much power, and then also whenever you're coming back out, how much of that dirt is going to be slung out because we know that whenever we're digging these post holes, a lot of times when we're using these diggers, once we go down and in, we're going to pull some of that dirt out, but not all of it out so we're still gonna have to do some hole clean out and you'll actually see that with this machine whenever we're going down into the ground it does a pretty good job of slinging most of the dirt out at the top but you are still gonna have some down at the bottom that you will still have to clean out so it is not perfect by any means but it's gonna be a great option for these little tractors now as far as the weight goes on this machine you're going to be at about 200 pounds total once we're talking about the frame and of course our gearbox there on top and then once we get to the auger you're going to have some different options so what we have on this machine here is going to be a 12 inch auger it does have replaceable teeth at the end of both edges of the flighting there those are going to be made of a hardened steel and then once we get to the bit that's actually on the very bottom of the auger this is going to be a cast iron bit it is also replaceable so those are going to be your main two pieces that take the brunt of the damage whenever you're using one of these post hole diggers so it's important that those are replaceable so that you can change those out because those are going to be your main wear items now the 12 inch option is obviously not going to be the only option that you have on this you're also going to have a six inch option or a nine inch option and you have to remember that whenever you're ordering your post hole digger you do have to order what size of auger you want with that machine when you're ordering one of these post hole diggers so you want to have it in mind of where you're going to be digging what we're digging for and how big of an auger you're going to need on this machine now obviously for a lot of things a 12 inch is going to be really big unless we're setting big corner posts so a six inch or a nine inch may be the way you want to go but you're also going to have the same features with that auger that you have with this one you're going to have those replaceable teeth and you're going to have that replaceable bit so you can make sure and take care of this thing change out those wear parts when needed now these augers are also going to come in a couple of different links here on this 1025r which is what i have this phd 200 hooked up to we have a 48 inch auger on here and it is almost too long so whenever we're traveling with this machine you can see right here just how much ground clearance we have which is not very much so if you get any bounce at all with your tractor then you're hitting your tip and you're possibly damaging that so whenever you're working with the 1025r you may definitely want to go with a 36 inch auger rather than a 48 the 48 is just what happened to come with this model so we went ahead and used it put it to work and it worked just fine so no issue there except for the fact that it may be just a little bit too long so one thing you also want to keep in mind is what length you are going to need for that auger Sometimes for some of those applications, you're gonna need that 48 inch auger to make sure you have enough depth that you can set that pipe or that post, whatever you're doing down into the ground low enough. But if you can get away with the 36, when we're working with the smaller sub subcompact tractors, that is something I would highly encourage looking into. Now, some of the things to consider whenever we're looking into one of these post hole diggers is how much PTO horsepower do I need to run this machine? 
Well, here on the PHD 200, you can be anywhere between 18 to 40 PTO horsepower. So here on the 1025R, we meet that 18. So we can definitely run this on this machine, but anywhere from 18 to 40, you are gonna be good to go on this. Now, once we get up past 40, we were gonna wanna look into a little bit bigger machine than what we have here in the PHD 200. But don't worry, Frontier has you covered. Like I said, they do have larger models of this and also one smaller. Now, the other thing is whenever we are sitting in the seat, what kind of view do we have from the seat? Well, I can tell you that from sitting in here, whenever I was putting in that first hole, I was holding a camera looking back here and you can see very well over the shoulder. What's nice is you can look over your right shoulder, still use your left hand there to control your three point lever because your three point raise and lower is how you're going to raise and lower this machine down into the ground and back up. And then also it's very easy to reach up and adjust your throttle on the tractor to make sure that you're staying at that 540 RPMs at the tractor to keep your auger spinning at the rate that it needs to spin. Now, one tip that I would give you, and this seems backwards, but I will tell you from using one of these that whenever you're coming up and out of the hole, it's actually a little bit easier on the machine if you go ahead and lower those rpms in theory what you'd want is you'd want to raise those rpms so you get more dirt slinging out of the hole whenever you're coming up and out but i can tell you that with these they're not a perfect machine so they are going to have some wobble when they're coming up and out of the hole so if you lower those rpms you're going to get a smoother transition when you're coming up and out rather than if you have that thing going at full speed now one thing that you may be thinking about is what about down pressure are these things heavy enough that if i'm working in some really hard soil am i going to be able with just the weight of this machine and using my three point am i going to be able to get down into the ground and be able to punch those holes that i need to and that's a good question depending on your soil type you may have issues with that good thing is there is an available downforce kit that you can add to this machine that goes into your hydraulic system so if you need to add that that is available also with the way these machines are designed using that top link using that three point being as long and awkward awkward as they are sometimes storing these machines is a hassle it can be a big pain so there's also a stand available that you can buy to be able to put these on to be able to hang this up be able to back up to it hook up to it a whole lot easier than trying to set it on the ground or set it up in the barn somewhere and hope that whenever you need to put it on you have an extra set of hands to help you put it on now cost on one of these machines you're going to be looking around the 1800 dollar range for the setup that we have here now that's with the 12 inch auger with the phd 200 but you're going to vary depending on what size you get what size of auger that you get. So those prices are definitely something that you want to go in, talk to your dealership about, talk to your salesman, see if you can get any type of discounts, if there's any incentives that you qualify for. And also you may look into bundling up this maybe with a new tractor. So definitely check all those things out when you're going in and looking for one of these machines. But guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you were wanting to see more videos like this or just more videos over John Deere equipment in general, make sure to check out the rest of the channel. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.